Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I would like to bring to you a video where I'm going to showcase to you how quickly I can deploy and verify very simple smart contract through the use of feature line and the new functionality of deploy and verify. Uh, what I have here is uh, actually a new um, Italime initialized project. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a very simple smart contract and I'm going to deploy it on Robsten and verify it at the same time. So uh, first things first, uh, let's see what's in the project. And like every Italime project, we have a uh, line line factory. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this uh, a little bit. I'm going to add ownable here. So let's first install open Zeppelin. Uh, while this is installing, uh, I'm also going to add a constructor. I'm going to allow it to, let's say, take some integer. And maybe uh, some string. And all of this needs to be public. And memory. All right, and I'm going to store this in the uh, variables of this smart contract. So And uh, another one for the string. All right. And I'm going to assign to the random int the parameter that we are having here. And also I'm going to take the string parameter. All right, all of this I'm doing in order to showcase that we can actually also verify um, the parameters that are passed. So let's see what happened with uh, Open Zeppelin. It seems that all is good, so let's try importing um, Ownable. I don't remember fully the path, so I'm going to just check it. So it's contracts, access, snow, ownership, ownable. Okay, so it's contracts, ownership, ownable. And I'm going to say, Hey, this contract is ownable. Also, I'm going to change this function create line to payable. All right, so Let's first test all of this on the local Ganache, whether we can successfully deploy this. Let's open up a new tab and go for Ethelon Ganache. Okay. It's already in use, so let me stop it in here and try again. In the meantime, I'm going to check out my 
script for deployment and it's it I'm gonna have a deployer I'm going to pass the two parameters I'm going to pass no libraries this time and I need to pass an int so I'm going to pass let's say 256 and the string which is going to be again 256 and if Grash is running as it is, and I'm going to try it align deploy. All right, it's compiling, it compiled the Honorable, and it all went on successfully. So let's try the same thing with um, infra and infra deployer and I'm going to take the private key I'm going to take the network I'm going to pass an API key from, I'm going to take this one and I'm also going to pass Etherscan API key that I'm going to pass through the CLI and I'm going to modify this deploy to deploy and verify all right so let's try again the deployment command However, we're going to pass network, which I'm going to use Robston. Secret, which is a private key that I'm going to use. And there is a sample one that I have created for this tutorial and Etherscan API key. And I'm going to use this API key here. So let's try the same thing again and see what happens. So all of this has already been compiled. So probably won't need to recompile it again. And we are now starting the compilation. Let's head to Peter scan and see what is going on. There is a pending transaction, let's wait for it. Contract has been deployed. Now we are attempting a verification. In the meantime, let's check here, right? Always good here. Let's check the contract. It is not yet verified. So the contract line factory is verified successfully. You can see the C version contract verification all is good. And if I refresh here, we can see the code that is already here. It's flattened and it was super, super easy. Let's try and read some data and or just input some, some, some lime. But for this, let's modify a little bit the smart contract. I'm going to make this public. And also I'm going to use the optimizer so that we actually have a much smaller contract. So I'm going to use the same comment. I'm going to pass runs. I'm going to say, hey, I want the optimizer to be run 999 times. So let's see how all this fares when we have uh, optimizer on. Again, I'm running the same the same thing as previously. As you see, it's now recompiled. Probably the gas use should be much smaller. The last transaction took us. Let's see. like 750k gas. Let's see what's happened with this one.
waiting for this transaction to go through. Come on, Robston, be nice to us. Okay, it went through. There is a contract already at this address. So this should be okay now. And we should start the verification process. Attempting to verify the contract. Right, it's processing the verification. Meterscan has not yet resolved this transaction, but let's see how the verification fares. Okay, so we have one part of the verification already went through. We have this smart contract, which is not yet verified probably, and apparently this has gone through, so it's successful. And we have the contract code verified with optimization. All good. Let's read the smart contract. What we have here is we have random string, we have random int, and if we try to write into this small contract, let's connect this with MetaMask. Yes, I want to connect with MetaMask. Let's transfer ownership to, or let's let's create first line. As you can see, all is here, but I want to show you that you're going, we're going to see the transactions. Correctly, so I'm going to pass 0.1 ether and I'm going to say name here. Uh, carbon hydrates are say 5, and I'm going to say 51, and protein I'm going to say 151. So let's write this transaction, confirm, and let's view the transaction. And if, you, if we see the data, as you can see, because it's verified, it's already seen. Hey, this is what we are the method that we are using, and we are going to send the data that is that is here. So pretty much it was it was that easy. This is how I was able to verify my uh, deploy and verify my uh, contract on Robston, and the same thing goes on for my net. So yeah, this is it. Go ahead and use uh, Ecoline for your verifications and your development. See you guys.